Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back on Gaming Webful. So today, short and sweet video, I'm gonna show you how to install a M.2 SSD into your Alienware uh, 17 or 15, uh, it doesn't matter. And after that, we're gonna take a look at how to migrate your uh, Windows 10 OS uh, to your SSD. Uh, because if you don't already have an SSD in this laptop, uh, Microsoft Windows is installed on the hard drive disk. But of course, uh, you want to migrate it to your SSD and that's what we're going to do All today. Right, so first things first, you obviously want to turn off your laptop and get the show on the road. Next up, you want to turn over your laptop to access the removable cover. All right, next step, you wanna take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the two screws uh, that are holding the removable panel. All right, so first things first, as you don't wanna take any chances with your new uh, Beast, your new beautiful laptop Alienware system, uh, you might want to uh, unplug the battery. So simply pull that. It should be identified with a yellow uh, sticker. So simply put it out and then you'll be sure uh, you won't mess up your system. Then you want to locate your two M.2 uh, SSD ports. And finally, last step is to simply take your SSD in this case, in my case, uh, this is the Samsung 850 EVO 250 gigabytes. You wanna take this, simply, very simply and gently push it in like so. And then you wanna take another screw and drive it in. Oh yes, please don't forget to plug your battery back into your motherboard. It's probably gonna save you some time. All right, so now that the big work is done, you simply want to take your cover and put it back in. All right, guys, so now to the migration part of the video. Uh, first of all, disclaimer, you may do this differently than I do it. Uh, I'm gonna le leave some links in the description uh, that different softwares that allow you to migrate. You might want to try to do it manually, but personally I bought uh, a software for 19 bucks, so it's really not that bad and it's very, very efficient. So let's get on with it. All right guys, so first things first, you wanna go on Google or Bing or whatever search engine you use and you wanna search for Paragon Windows 10 migration. Uh, you're gonna click on the first link which is gonna bring you to uh, the official Paragon website. All right, so once you're on the website, you simply wanna buy the software. It's 19 bucks, it's really not that bad uh, personally. I think it works great. It's very fast and easy to use and we're gonna, I'm gonna show it to you right now. All right, so once you've installed it, it's gonna appear like this on your desktop and you simply wanna open it, double click it and uh, get into the software. So you are going to be greeted with this pop-up. So welcome to the Migrate OS to SSD. Uh, you've got some warnings and uh, once you've read them all, you wanna simply click OK or Next and uh, get on with the migration. All right. So since mine is already installed on my SSD, uh, it says that the wizard is going to copy the SSD to uh, my hard drive disk which is simply normal because it's actually detecting on which uh, hard drive or SSD the OS is and it simply uh, um, infers that you want to install it on the other one so but for you guys it's gonna detect the uh, SSD OS on the hard drive and it's gonna install it on the SSD so don't be uh, scared but by what you see on the screen right now it's simply normal. All right, so one very, very important thing you wanna do is check create a new EFI boot entry. 
Reason why is that we're gonna go play in the BIOS to make your SSD your new boot drive and in order to detect the SSD, basically you need to create a new EFI boot entry. So when you've clicked that, check that, uh, you simply want to click on copy and let it do the work. Alright, so when it's all done, you want to shut down your computer and restart it. Alright, so when you're in the BIOS, you simply want to go to the boot tab, scroll down to the boot option number one, and you're gonna choose the Windows Boot Manager on disk zero. That's uh, the uh, option uh, Paragon is gonna create for you. So you're gonna be sure that, you're, that your OS boots on your newly installed SSD. All right guys, so that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos this week. I'm working on the full review. That's coming up pretty soon. I'm also going to release some game, game benchmarks, see how this computer performs. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if this helped you. Uh, comment if you're unsure about uh, anything, I'll uh, answer uh, quickly. And uh, yeah, take care guys.